And it wasn't even a challenge. It's like they're growing trees. We'll find a guitar player. And you wouldn't entertain this thing of, you know, Bernard's irreplaceable. There's nobody like Bernard. Fine, we'll find another guitar player. Not a problem. As the weeks went on, I think it started to look a little bit more desperate. It was like, if anybody thinks they can do this job, send a cassette to this address. So one day I just thought, well, I'm anybody. Most of them were just awful. There was a couple of uh, fantastic rock guys with vests and kind of pointy-headed guitars and tattoos and shredding over the top of suede tracks. They were, they were brilliant. And then there was Richards. The letter I sent them was quite cocky and, um, and sure of myself, which I, in reality, was not. I put the cassette in, expecting to be underwhelmed, and I wasn't. I kind of heard this very, very eloquent, powerful, technically proficient guitar playing. He was playing a version of my insatiable one, and it kind of, he, he, he played it beautifully. I said, what's this? And he said, oh, this is a tape from a, an audition-y. I went, oh, sounds great. It was the first time I'd heard anyone play something of ours and really do, do, the, do the guitar part justice. I didn't discover the guitar until I was about 12. Um, at the same time I discovered punk music. The way the punk bands like the Buzzcocks and the Clash and the Sex Pistols used to write songs was something I instantly understood at a very young age. I remember the first time I went round to Richard's house, I told him that I played the guitar and he handed me a guitar and said, show me what you can do. And I did some really, really basic, bad strummed chords and he laughed. <laughs> He couldn't believe it. So I handed the guitar back to him and said, show me what you can do. And he just did this amazing 12-bar blues thing. And I was blown away. I think at that moment I knew that he was a, a very talented guitarist. But I think when you're that young, you don't really think of it in terms of somebody being a prodigy. I knew how to put chords together and to write songs in that way, simple songs. And so I was doing that from, yeah, from that age as well, 12, 13. That's when I joined my first band. Yeah, Richard and I were in a band up until about a year before he joined Suede. And Suede were one of several bands that he was enthusiastic about at that time. And I wouldn't even say it was the main band. Well, this is also where I saw my very first gig, which was Suede, in uh, May 93, it was, and they were doing their first album tour, and they were at number one at that point, I think. So it was a really busy gig. Pool Art Centre is not really on the regular touring circuit for a lot of bands, and so a band we liked were playing, so we were obviously going to go and see them. Pete says that he, he remembers me saying something to him along the lines of, I could probably do that. Richard was at that gig looking at Bernard as a lead guitarist on stage and thinking that he had a strong ambition to do the same thing. So he was able to make these quite intricate demos, but at the same time he was also sort of recording versions of songs that he liked. What it feels like to me is just luck. I was really lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. I was still at school, um, but, you know, to get to actually... I mean, it was a real punt sending them a tape in the first place. We gave Richard a call, and the, the story is quite, quite famous. He, he was actually still at school at the time, and, uh, and <laughs> I think Charlie called... And, of course, the first thing my mum was said was, you do know he's only 17, <laughs> you know? And we're like, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> so my cover was blown. But we still invited him for, for an audition. We thought, well, you know, if you can play like that, why not? We were seeing people, so, so you know, come one, come all. I don't know, late this afternoon... We've got Ed coming down later, producer. Ed Muller. Ed Muller. He's coming down, so check out this song, this new one. In walks this little smallish kind of kid, you know, quite unassuming. Suddenly, as soon as he plays the guitar, he becomes a different person. didn't 
play like a 17-year-old. He played like he'd been doing this all his life. made it clear what kind of prodigy he was. So they invited me for an audition, but I still didn't think they'd actually offer me the job. That was just, you know, that was never going to happen. And then it did. <laughs> I said to Matt and Brown, I said, he is obviously the guitarist. I think the, the fact that he was 17 didn't really make any difference. To read that again and again, especially throughout my career, 17 year old, he was 17 years old when he joined the band. It's such a swayed thing taking a big risk getting a 17-year-old guitarist. I, I had immediately, obviously, had just slight mixed feelings about it on a personal level, because I was just about to lose my best friend. I had to give up absolutely everything here. It was like severing a connection. So I went back to the sick form a couple of weeks after that, and somebody said, oh, where's Richard? And I said, oh, that's a funny thing, actually. You know, he's joined Suede. They just laughed at me and said, shut the fuck up. The first thing he actually did was pose in a video for We Are The Pigs, which is just such an odd thing. And then we started touring, and it's like, it's like two months or something. And introducing a brand new face, Richard Oates. It's ridiculous how, how quickly it happened, but you can see that he grows into it really, really quickly. I hadn't really done any actual gigs until I joined Sway. And it was just, we're going to go on tour. I think the first date was the 4th of October, so it was just after I turned 18. It's down to the fact that you can really play. So it doesn't hold any real fears for him, I don't think. Despite what the press were saying at the time, they were basically saying the band are over. So we were reading feature after feature where they were saying they've lost the key member, how are they going to recover from this? And despite all that, we knew that we would do a good tour. We knew that at the end of it, people would say, oh, they can still do this, they can still play. It was a fantastic thing because it, it meant we were starting again. It felt for me like a new band. It had all the joys of being a new band. Suddenly, I was on stage playing and surrounded by girls, and I had no idea how to even talk to them. Do you know what I mean? It's like no experience at all. I was the most non rock and roll person to join a rock and roll band. Philadelphia was a good laugh, I enjoyed that. And Berlin, Washington was like the first gig we did. It was like, you know, people think, Simon, stop, Simon's filming me. Simon, don't, please. We went to Asia for the first time, which was amazing. We, we, sort of hadn't experienced anything like it before. We turned up and I think the first one we did was Bangkok. And I think Charlie got a, a message on the plane that there may be a couple of kids there, there may be a camera crew there. Fuck you, no, There's camera crews everywhere, there was police everywhere. And it was absolute chaos. We sort of toured Japan, couldn't leave the hotel without being chased by kids. That was mind-blowing for us. But can you imagine what it was like for Richard? If I was him and I was thrown into that, I, I don't know what kind of person I'd be now. Reading about yourself for the first time is a very strange thing. When you read a journalist's perception of who you are and uh, um, where you've come from and your place in the band and you're, you know, and, and just describing you. It's kind of, it's really, really odd. It's like looking in a very distorted mirror, <laughs> you know. Of course, there was then the concern about the third album. The only thing we didn't know was, well, you know, do we know if he can write any songs? Proving ourselves that we could actually write another record was, was a different thing, obviously. Coming up would have taken much longer to 